What is up guys, Sonner from Canadian Rider here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to properly clean your motorcycle. So I just came back from a ride. This is my 2006 Ducati Monster S2 R800. It's a beautiful bike. I was out riding, it was raining, it got really dirty. You can see here, there's lots of mud put everywhere on the bike. Um, it is in really bad shape. So I wanna go ahead and show you the proper steps you need to take to properly wash your motorcycle so you don't instill swirls and scratches on the paint. This is something obviously I care about a lot. I've been a professional detailer for the last 10 years. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like anything to do with motorcycles or car detailing. Um, I really appreciate it, over 27,000 subscribers. Again, thank you guys so much. But I'm gonna show you step by step how you're gonna properly clean your motorcycle and I'm gonna go ahead and list all the products I use in the description box down below. Now, one of the first things I actually recommend you do, if you have a motorcycle stand, this is the time to use it. It's gonna make cleaning your bike a lot easier. So I have mine put on this Pitbull stand. Again, I'll link that in the description box as well. You do need to make sure that you get the right adapter for your motorcycle. But whatever stand you have, put it up on the stand. It's gonna make the entire process a lot easier. Let's start with a rinse. Rinsing is probably the biggest thing that you need to do to make sure you knock off the majority of the dirt and grime off of the bike before you actually put a mitt to it and start washing it, which is gonna cause a lot of the problems that you have with instilling swirls and scratches to actually go away. So let's go ahead and give this bike a really good rinse. So I do have the bike ready and I do have my electric pressure washer here. The reason why you wanna use a pressure washer, it's gonna help remove all of that gunk that maybe a regular hose wash is not gonna be able to remove, which is gonna reduce those chances of swirls and scratches. So I always recommend an electric pressure washer is more than enough power. This one has about 2000 PSI. That's gonna be more than enough to go ahead. We're gonna work from top all the way to bottom and get all that grime off. This is an extremely important step. So we're gonna go do that right now. So we just finished the rinse. You can see it's a lot cleaner just based off the rinse. Now there is a second step you can do. We're gonna be doing it on this bike is the foam cannon. We're gonna be putting the foam on this bike. It's gonna add a little bit more in terms of cleaning ability, help remove and break down that dirt and grime that's on the motorcycle. Is it necessary? No, in my professional experience, I think it's more for the fun that you're doing it. Yes, it's gonna marginally, if anything, help improve and clean up the bike a little bit more, but it's not a deal breaker. So if you don't have one, don't worry. I'm gonna be using the one built into my pressure washer. I'll also link a generic one that you can go ahead and get, you know, the typical foam cannons. I'll make sure I link that in the description box down below. So let's go ahead. We're gonna foam cannon the bike. And then once we're done that, we're gonna go ahead and worry about those wheels that are extremely filthy. So the bike is now dwelling with all the foam on it, all the soap is going ahead and actually breaking down the dirt. Because the bike is so small, typically I would say go ahead and rinse and wash the bike now, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and start attacking the wheels. You can either use a wheel cleaner, I'm using one here today, I'm also gonna be linking another one that I really like in the description box down below. You can go ahead and give the wheels a bit of a blast here, knowing that they also have some soap on there as well, which is gonna go ahead and aid in breaking everything down. And we're gonna really start now cleaning out the wheels. I have two brushes, one long boar's hair brush. This is really good for the face of your wheels. You can use this on your car as well. I really, really love this one. And then I have my Adams long wheel brush here as well. This is to get into the spokes and the crevices that it's much harder to get on with this brush. So we're gonna go ahead, clean out both of the wheels, the back and the front, and you can see how much easier it's gonna be because the bike is now lifted and it's dead center for us. We're gonna clean up the wheels. After we're done that, we're gonna rinse the entire bike. So now the bike is completely rinsed and it is a lot cleaner. The wheels are a lot cleaner, but we still haven't done any of the major paint work yet. Before we begin that, what we're gonna do is gonna use some all-purpose cleaner. I love super clean mixed with water and a half-half dilution. I put it in the spray bottle here. We're gonna go into all the nooks and crannies of the motorcycle. This isn't like a car. There's a lot of other things that we need to go ahead and address before we actually start washing it with a mitt. So what I like to do, I love this little brush. It's really handy. I'm gonna go ahead and soak some of these areas with the all-purpose cleaner and I'm gonna go dig into it. Once we clean out all the nooks and crannies on the motorcycle, that's when we're gonna go ahead and rinse everything and then we're gonna be using our wash mitt to go ahead and wash the rest of the bike. 
So now the bike is clean from the bottom. We got the rims clean, a lot of the interior spots in here, those nooks and crannies are all cleaned out. We're gonna start with the two bucket method. If you haven't heard about this method, you have two buckets and this is really important. This is what's gonna keep your bike or your car in tip top shape and not instill swirls and scratches in them. Number one, I have two buckets and in each one of these buckets, I have something called a grit guard. This is gonna sit at the bottom of the bucket and all that's gonna happen is when you wash your car or motorcycle in this case, you take your mitt, which in this case is a microfiber Chanel mitt. I highly recommend these mitts. They are able to actually cake in the dirt, trap it, and then release the dirt easily. But once you go ahead, you put this in here, you're gonna be able to rub it on the grit guard and release all that dirt. And what the grit guard is gonna do is it's gonna keep all that dirt at the bottom of the bucket here. Everything's gonna be trapped at the bottom of the bucket here. All the dirt isn't gonna come back up and go in your mitt. And that's what's gonna keep all the swirls and scratches away from your paint, keep it at the bottom of the bucket because all of the dirt, the rocks, any type of grime is not gonna be you know, rubbed back onto the paint. So I have two buckets. I have my mitt. I'm gonna put my mitt in this bucket and then I have my soap. You can use any soap. I really like the Meguiar's California Gold Soap. Any over-the-counter soap, again, is more than enough for this. I'm gonna be linking this in the description box down below if you wanna go ahead and look at this soap. I'm gonna fill this bucket. This is gonna be my soap bucket. I'm gonna fill this with some of this soap. You don't need too much, honestly. I would say just a little bit. That's more than enough right there. We're gonna fill both of these buckets with water up to the brim. This is gonna be our soap and water solution. This is gonna be our water only rinse bucket solution. So we have our two buckets. We're gonna go ahead and start the wash. I got my mitt in the soap solution and water solution. I'm gonna take the mitt, we're gonna to work top to bottom. Just like everything else we do, we're always working top to bottom. And we're gonna do one large section at a time here. So I'm gonna work on this area here on the top. And we can go ahead and flip the mitts. And again, you don't need to put too much pressure. You've knocked out most of the dirt and that grime. And now you're just really getting all that film off, you know, getting into every nook and cranny. And that's why I like these Chanel mitts because they allow you to get in all of those little spots. And we're gonna get in here into the gas tank really nicely. Clean this up. Again, make sure you flip. And now we're gonna take this mitt. We're gonna go into the rinse bucket. We're gonna put the mitt in the rinse bucket and we're gonna rub on the grit guard down below. This is important. You gotta make sure you rub on the grit guard down below, get all of that dirt at the bottom of the bucket and then back into the soap solution. And I also like to rub the grit guard down here as well. And now you're back up. Now I'm gonna work on the next section, which I'm gonna use this side. And I'm gonna get into all of this and really clean up the frame here. Now we're gonna do this across the bike. You're gonna go one section at a time across the motorcycle, and this is all you're gonna be doing. You're gonna be making sure that you clean every section of the bike, then you're gonna rinse off. So ideally here, I'm gonna do two sections of the bike. Each time I do uh, two sections, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse the bike. That way, you know, I'm right now working in the garage, but if you are working in an outdoor environment with the sun, you wanna kind of reduce the chance of water spots. The best way to do that, after about two panels or one panel, you're gonna rinse off all the soap and then continue on to each section of the motorcycle. Now that the motorcycle's clean, all that's left to do is dry it. I have my microfiber waffle weave towel here, as well as my electric air blower. This is really handy because the motorcycle's got tons of those nooks and crannies, really hard to get into. You wanna make sure again, you dry the bike from the top to bottom, use this again to get into all the nooks and crannies, and you're gonna have a dry bike, and that's how you properly wash your motorcycle. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment box down below. Make sure you like the video and make sure you subscribe. Over 27,000 subscribers. If you like any videos regarding detailing, cars, motorcycles, you're gonna find a lot of that on this channel. And on top of that, we just washed this bike, I'm gonna be doing a full paint correction on this thing to make sure the paint is in tip top condition. That's gonna remove all the existing soils and scratches on it. Then I'm gonna show you how to ceramic coat this bike. I'm really excited for this motorcycle. This is part of the Cyberpunk 2077 build that I have going on. We did a lot of mods to it and now I really wanna make sure it looks pristine and brand new. So if you wanna follow that journey, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.